Hey guys, it's Dantelion, and today I will show you how to get the glory of the Dragosaur Raider achievement. Now, all these achievements are very easy to do, however, you have to come back four times because Blizzard decided it would be fun for you to come back four times and kill Deathwing on four different platforms. So, yeah, you gotta do that to get your achievement, but there are two extra mounts you can get here, so maybe you'll be lucky and you get those two mounts out of Deathwing or Ultraxion. I still haven't seen those mounts drop, but Maybe you will, maybe your RNG isn't as bad as mine. I really hope so, because it's horrible. <laughs> anyway, if you want to make one of these achievements way easier to do, I would suggest you come here with a ranged character, because there's this achievement which requires you to kill these flying dragons, and that will just be a lot easier with a ranged character. Now you can do it on a melee character, but it will just be more stressful, and you will probably just fill the achievement. So. Get a ranged character and you will make it yourself a lot easier. Now let's start with the achievements. So I was doing this whole raid on Heroic because you have to do that to get these 6 achievements which require you to kill 6 bosses on Heroic. Now at the first boss here as you can see you just walk over to him and you kill him. That's how you get don't stand so close to me. It's very easy to do. Now the next achievement is called taste the rainbow. And basically all you have to do here is just open up your achievement window, look up this achievement and you will see which combinations you need to make with these bloods that he's going to spawn. Now if you are doing this on Heroic 25, then he will spawn 4 bloods and basically your achievement progress will go way faster. So what I did was I was just waiting and that's actually all you have to do here. You are just going to wait for these bloods to spawn. and. As you can see, you will need to make four different combinations to get this achievement. You need to make the black and yellow combination, the red and green, the black and blue, the purple and yellow. And if you have four blood spawn, you can actually already get two different combinations. It's very easy to do. Just sit, memorize which combinations you have made already. And once you've got all these combinations, you can just kill the boss and that's how you get your achievement. So next up is Ping Pong Champion. Now, all you have to do here is just right click the boss and after a while he will spawn a purple ball. All you gotta do there is just target the ball and keep running into it until it reaches 10 stacks. Now whenever it reaches 10 stacks, you just want to focus down the boss and that's all there is to it. The next achievement is called Minutes to Midnight. Now, all you have to do here is just nuke Ultraxion, pray to the RNG gods and hope that they give you your mount. So because of this achievement that we are going to do now, I said I would recommend a ranged character. Now for this achievement you have to kill flying ads and basically if you have a ranged character it will make it a lot easier. Now there are a couple of melee classes that can do it too of course but just to be safe I would suggest you come here with a ranged character because it's very easy to mess up this achievement. Like I was here on my monk too and you see gameplay of my druid now. So yeah, you can tell that I messed up. So what you have to do for this achievement is make sure that no dragon damages your ship. Whenever he does that, your achievement will turn red if you are tracking this achievement. So whenever your achievement turns red, you can just jump off your ship and that way the encounter will reset. Now, what I did was I made a macro with slash target twilight assault drake and then a slash cast moonfire for example. And by doing that, I was able to just stand in the middle of the deck and keep spamming that macro. Now that way, all these dragons would die immediately after they flew over me. So if I were you, I would just make a macro that you can keep spamming. Just to make sure you kill those dragons before they fly over to the other side. One more thing you gotta keep in mind is that the boss will spawn a swirly on the ground. And you gotta stand in it, because if you are not going to stand in it, he will damage your ship and your achievement will turn red. Now besides that just kill everything that's trying to attack you and there will also be this goblin that's going to get dropped off from a purple dragon just kill it and that's all there is to it now whenever these dragons have been dealt with the boss will just go down to your ship and you just gotta kill him and that's how you get your deck defender achievement now it's a very easy achievement to do but it's also an achievement that's very easy to mess up so just focus and you will get your achievement so the next achievement is called maybe he will get dizzy. Now what you have to do here is defeat the spine of Deathwing while making Deathwing roll left, right, left, right and exactly in that order otherwise you won't get the achievement. Now 
I remember doing this fight on LFR and it wasn't fun at all. It was just, it, it was a disaster. So anyway, what you want to do now is basically kill three tendrils and you want to stand right on top of the tendril that you've just killed. By doing so, you will get rooted to Deathwing's body. And whenever he's going to start rolling to the left side, you won't fly off. Only these big ads will fly off. <laughs> so once you've done that, you want to move to the right side, do the same thing, then go back to the left side, then go back to the right side. And basically you've already completed the achievement requirement then. Now the hardest thing about this achievement is, in my opinion, clearing this whole encounter for some new people. Um, there's an easy way to do this. All you have to do is just stand on the left side and let these bloods keep coming to you. And whenever you have around 9 or 10 bloods around you, just damage them, just kill them and they will drop that on the ground. Now, whenever that happens, you want to kill a tendril and whenever you've killed a tendril, this other big ad will come out of it, right? So you want to move him over these dead bloods and whenever you are doing that, you will get stacks. Now, he needs 9 stacks. So whenever he reaches 9 stacks, he will explode whenever you are going to kill him. So what you want to do is move him to the armor plating of Deathwing and then kill him. But be careful because you gotta keep walking from the left side to the right side to the left side all the time. Because whenever he's going to roll to either the left side or the right side, your ad will fall off. So whenever this ad has 9 stacks and you kill him near the armor plating, there will be these tendrils that keep the armor plating stuck on Deathwing's body. You just gotta kill that and basically you enter phase 2 after that. Now, you are going to do the same thing there. But this time you can kill 4 tendrils. Because you only need to have 1 tendril left. Now, if you kill these 4 tendrils in the second area, you will have a lot more blood spawn. So basically that will speed it up a little bit. And you are just going to stand on the left side or the right side again. Until you have a lot of bloods around you, you just kill these bloods. And once you think you have enough dead bloods on the ground, you just kill another tendril and make another big head spawn. So you just keep doing the same thing. And whenever you have dealt with the last armor plating, you will have your achievement. Now the last achievement that we are going to do is called Chromatic Champion. Now what you want to do here is you want to kill Deathwing after beginning the encounter on each different aspects platform. Now the thing is, this requires you to come back 4 weeks. What you want to do is, if you have zero progress here, I would suggest you just start at Alexstrasza's platform because that's the one that's the furthest away. The easiest way to do that with a class that has no mobility is by just hopping over from platform to platform before starting the encounter because that way you will get a speed boost and whenever you think you are fast enough you just make your way to Alexstrasza's platform whenever the encounter has started and you just kill Deathwing. That's basically all there is to it. Now if you've done all four of those, if you came back here four times, then you will have your mount. Another thing that you want to do is just pray to Iron Jesus that you will get your Deathwing mount. Because Deathwing can drop a mount too. I have 100 plus attempts on him and I still haven't seen this mount drop. So I hope that this mount drops soon, but with my RNG, I highly doubt it. Anyway, this is all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys liked it. I hope it was helpful. And if you like this video, give it a like and maybe subscribe. If you didn't like this video, you know what to do. If you have any questions or any suggestions, leave it in the comment section below or message me on Twitter or Discord. So yeah, that's all I have to say. Have a nice day, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.